Hi everyone, greetings and blessings from India. My name is Serena and I am a Vision Council member for the Global Eco Village Network of Ocean and Asia, uh, one of the main organizers for the International Emergence Convergence and a main global facilitator for inner dance processes, including the Inner Dance Energy School. Thank you so much for having us with you. Um, we're going to be holding the ritual for indigo and the theme for this is decolonizing consciousness. We're using the inner dance process as a way to experience something collective as well as something internal. A process in which things that are experienced are not perceived through what it is that comes from the outside. It's something that starts to rise up from within and that through this energy and connection to oneself, through the various parts of the body and the mind and the heart and the emotions and the ways in which we begin to remember that we're not separate. We allow ourselves to experience something about the whole, about the wholeness that's within us and the ways that when we come together it's not just something that's happening individually, but there is something collectively resonating in a room or around a globe in the ways that we're able to bring something to a space that can see itself. There's something in the middle of every experience that we have between each other, that version of what is self and other and everything else that's in between, what is that? It's a big question mark. And the question mark represents something about the unknown something that isn't always tangible, can't always be explained. And when we try to use logic or rationality to understand it, it might seem even more confusing. And so activating more of these right-brained processes and bringing ourselves into a state for which conscious expansion happens through something more like a dream, where the dream state itself is possibly more real than the reality that we see around us. And so in what way might we be able to use the inner dance as a tool to access something about this dreamlike quality to our existence, to our essence, and to something that is beginning to speak about what is underneath the surface, inside of all of us, that is a part of our conscious being. So we're using something about this as a tool. And to focus on decolonizing consciousness as an element of what is there. We're looking at this from many different angles, from the way in which there's something behind the eyes. There's something deeper than just the heartbeat. There's something flowing through the blood that vibrates at a cellular level, a DNA experience, a remembering that allows us to go beyond language. Jacques Derrida once said that language was the first colonizer. And in this way, when we take a look at all of the symbols and metaphors that are underlying the words that we speak, the sentences that we say, and the choices in the words that we use, why is it that we've chosen certain things? How is it that that constructs something about our personal story that makes us very sensitive at times to the version of the story that we're saying? Are we able to go beyond what those personal stories speak and the sensitivities that we hold to see something of the whole? To become more sensitive to the whole, we need to deconstruct our personal sensitivities. To experience something about the decolonization of our own consciousness, what would it be that we look at? How would we know it's happening? And in what ways would we actually experience that? The inner dance process is a way that we go inwards, that we close our eyes, we lay down, we listen to music, and we experience something about ourselves. In our ritual, you won't actually be witnessing the inner dance experience, but the dialogue sharings that happen afterwards. These are really important for our own understanding of what actually is happening during the process because it's through the experiences being shared by all of the participants that helps us know what actually was this. 
We find many times that in one room, there is something very collective being shared among the participants. And so for this ritual, for you to be bearing witness to this ritual, we're bringing different groups together from around the world where we'll have inner dance sessions simultaneously happening in Cape Town, South Africa, in Melbourne, Australia, in Singapore, in Hosur, India, in Manila, in the Philippines, and in Bali. And then when we join all of you for the live broadcast, we'll be sharing what it is that we've experienced in our inner dance sessions. The collective process of inner dance in this way brings feedback into the center where that place, some place between what is self and other is hearing itself speak back to what it knows and that the sharings are the thing that then helps someone remember more about who they are because they start to see less and less separation. There's something that rises from that middle place that also helps them remember more about what their experience was. We're really interested to see what kind of collective feedback happens as we move from place to place, sharing these dialogues in a circle with each other and also then with you. That at the same time, we are experiencing the emergence of something that has deconstructed the solid versions of our mind held within one framework of time that says that it's happening here only, that now there's space to see what goes beyond that as one after another after another, perhaps these pieces come together in a way that creates a global story, a meta-narrative of what is actually there, what is actually inside of us, and in what way are we experiencing that with each other all the time, but perhaps unconsciously. To decolonize that is to bring consciousness to what is often unconscious. And so we thank you so much for joining us together in bearing witness to what it is that this dialogue will open and in what way this dreamlike quality to our existence is made visible through these sharings. That there's something we call a social dream matrix. It's a way in which all of us at the same time tend to create an awareness or an understanding or an acceptance of how we perceive the world that if we all chose to perceive the same things, then the matrix is very strong. In what way is this helping us to see through new eyes and to hear and listen with ears from our hearts, a language that is sharing from that dream, a new dream for this planet, a new dream for humanity, and a new dream that we can access so easily if only we take the time to experience what it's like. And so we welcome you to join us in that. And thank you so much for being with us.